Okay. Whose house is breaking trunk? into, mate? <laughs> hey, what? Whose house is breaking into, mate? Stay you breaking into about? houses. What are you waffling about, pal? Yeah. Who's I think I just ran into house and then fell for an old floorboard and set alarm off, I'll be honest. Yeah, oh. that'll be that'll be you then. Alright. Hello. What's up guys? Not oh much. my god, everyone's here. Wait, is this scene? Yeah. I'm sorry, I forget what you look wow. like. Wow. Oh, what is Teddy Spark? Did you have a good Valentine's Day? It was alright, mate. Let me smell your finger. Um, What the fuck is wrong with um, you? Hmm. <laughs> alright. That's crazy, bro. I'm gonna I'm go, I'm gonna go Dude, back. Wanna... You know, I'm back again. <laughs> So that's the that's the status update on circuit boards, etc. Um, is that a status update on everything else? Or no, I haven't got there yet. Um, I'm gonna get my bum smacked. Someone, food. someone give him food. Who wants that's food? Fair. Someone give the SK food. You may have four Maybe, maybe, gone. maybe a chair because you might need it. Can we have like a less overwhelming like information share where it's not like yeah. 400 voices at once? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'll just like Steve tell you, and then if you need yeah. to smack my bum, just do it. Mm. So, you might need to smack Terry's one as well from what I've heard. Okay. Bro, okay. So, oh. starting from the beginning of of, of, of yesterday. Um, and I, I'm sorry, Steve, but just can we please bro, get away from this? Oh, no, one more time, I'm just oh, going to get, get away from this alarm and do like, it, bro. This let's is just, let's just go to... Me and Steve are going on a drive. Who's got keys to this wagon? Pass keys. 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 I'm coming. Luke. We all go in a car, keys, none of please. us got keys to. Why don't we just take the range, you fucking. Take the keys, I'll you. <laughs> Matt's got his own car, range. come on, take the range. Take the range. Wait, what alarm? I'm saying the same thing. All right. Continue. Right. So, yesterday morning, Luke met up with a guy came called Cosney. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I heard of him. He had beef with Doug ages ago, I was saying, right? Solomon a, yeah, told me that. Yeah, and then he also had beef with Mr. K. He basically snitched on Mr. K Who after him? Mr. K shot a cop. Yeah. Mm. So, <clears throat> I've had to kidnap this guy once Luke, or twice already. Luke, thank you for the gift for the eight months. Gaz with a 19, shit. Jay with a 23. Um, he's a dickhead. Luke and Cosney robbed two ADMC members at roof running. Um... They didn't know it was ADMC initially, but you know, a fight kicked off. Last man standing was Cosney. And then Cora start running her mouth saying, you know, I'm ADMC, you're gonna have twenty five people on you. I know it's you, Luke, I know your names, all this kind of shit. Mm. So Cosney decided it was a good idea to toss her in the ocean and take her phone. He ocean dumped her after he and, robbed her. And not very well because she got found. Sick, thank you for the tier one. So naturally ADMC are pissed. Um there was some meet up. I'm going to continue to eat my sushi. Same to ADMC and whoever else was involved. And Jay was there, but he was sat on a bench, like just listening. And five of them approached Jay and started pressing him. Uh, Jay denied knowing Luke, but then Luke came over and was like, he was pressing my boy. And then they're like, oh, so you are Luke's boy. So then they sparked out Jay. Jay was fuming. Um, I woke up, found out all this had happened. I spoke to Solomon addressed everything we kind of came to the conclusion it was Cosney that ocean dumped Cora Luke was already down at this point he had no involvement in it so that kind of clears our name in, re in regards to the ocean dumping and Jay is pissed at getting sparked out of the hospital but the guy that sparked Jay out was Hazel um ex redline racer mm -hmm. so we were like me and Solomon were like okay so in regards to ADMC and the manor we're good you have beef with Cosney we don't give a shit about Cosney, do what you want. We have beef, beef with Hazel, we'll go sort our personal issues. That's how the phone call ended. Wait, so Hazel isn't ADMC? No. Okay. So the Hazel beef we sorted, Hazel paid Jay two and a half grand and promised him to get a, get a foot in the, the racing scene to keep Jay happy. That was grand. Nice. Um, we then started hearing through the grapevine that uh, Cora was running around saying that she still wanted to get her get back on Luke it, and that it, was... it wasn't over. It was through, so there was a circle of ADMC and then yeah, Dre. I was going to get to that. Oh, you said some guy. Okay, carry on. Through the grapevine, because we were hearing through the grapevine initially. Um, We heard she was running her mouth, and she was like waiting for command to wake up later, and then she was going to get her get back on Luke, right? So we heard this through Dre, and Dre was with a group of people, and he was in a position where if it got back to Cora that 
we heard this, it was obvious it was him because she trusted everyone else there but him, right? So we phoned everybody, we told them what was going on, that they were doing, that was what Cora was on, energy she was on, but we weren't going to do shit about it. We were going to let them be the aggressors. And if they did aggress, we'd pull out the strap and we'd put them in their place, right? Mm hmm So we told, <clears throat> we to I told Luke, I rang Luke and I was like, look, this is what Cora's saying right now. I don't want you to do anything and I don't want you to be in involved with Cosney either because he's a fucking snitch. So don't don't call Cora, don't fucking do anything, just go about your life, but just keep your head on a swivel a bit because that's the energy they're on, don't get caught lacking, right? What does the cunt go and do? He sees her in Mosley's, decides it's a good idea to pull out his phone and text Cosney that she's at Mosley's, and Cosney pulls up and shoots her. Along with um, someone called Cass from Mary's crew. Wait, so, so he's got a gun. So Cosney got a gun. I Who let that, that plonker get a piece? Speedy. I think so, that's Cat, by the way. We're going to that in a minute. Also, yeah, keep possibly. talking and telling me, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to vocalize for a moment, but I'll be able to hear okay. perfectly clear. Okay. So, yeah, obviously they weren't Two happy chat. I've just got one plug my mic. Happy about that. I'm um, hearing buzzing. They assumed their involvement, so JJ tweeted out saying he wanted Manor to call him, so I called him. I told him we weren't involved with Cosney. Uh, at this point, I didn't know Luca texted him, but it wouldn't have changed my, my, my opinion. Uh, and they offered us five grand to pick up Cosney and bring him to him, basically. So, we done it. For two reasons. Number one, to collect the five grand. And also, we needed his fucking SIM card to clear Luke, to clear Luke's name. Because if ever, anyone else got it first, it would have caused more issues. So, we rolled out with the gun. We found him. We pulled up on him. I shot him in the head. We, we pulled him away and we took a SIM card. And then we... Before I even got back on my feet, ADMC were ringing me. Asking, in order to fully trust us here, we need to see the SIM card. To which I said, oh yeah, let me, I'm just back on my feet, mate. I just got stabbed, so I need to go find out what the fuck's going on. I don't even know if we have them. Obviously, I knew we did, but I was playing dumb. Um, so we linked up with JJ, and we dropped them off and got the money. And in the process of that, ADMC also pulled up because they were kind of working together because they both wanted the same guy. So ADMC then started spam calling me and texting me to pick up and shit, asking where his SIM card is. On a, on a little bit of hostility, it was it was Irish, a little bit of hostility. So I basically told him, listen, uh, don't appreciate the fact you're coming at me the way you're coming at me over this fucking SIM card. You're not seeing it. And at that point, I said, I haven't even seen the SIM card myself, but the fact you've come at me the way you have, you ain't seen shit. Uh, to which he basically hung up the phone call um, and told me he'd believe Cosney's story over me. So I was like, okay, then there's, there's nothing to talk about then. Uh... Then Solomon called me and was like, he need, he wants to see the SIM card because he wants to see his connections with Speedy because apparently Speedy gave him the gun and Speedy fa phoned them after the shooting, chatting shit to Solomon and shit. So he wanted to see that. Which was a bit more of a reasonable approach, but I also don't believe it. Um, and then also JJ asked if he could see the SIM card. So I don't know what the fuck this SIM card is, but everyone and their fucking dogs want to see it. So I went through it. Um... Cause, do you know how when you brought up the, the speedy bet? So it's Cosney's no SIM card they all want to see. Yeah, Cosney's. So I, I went through that phone, um, and there was no contact called Speedy. So I so I basically like cross compared phone numbers and then found Cosney had uh, Speedy saved as one fast, one furious. Went through their text. It literally seems like they were buying buck coin off them. And then Cosney's group was selling circuit boards to them. Like that is the extent of their relationship. Right. But I, I, so what I did after Storm when you weren't awake, Steve, is mm -hmm. what you told me was I called Solomon um, to be be like Steve told me that you wanted to hear uh, about Speedy's relationship uh, and like what I read in the wrong because I read it before Storm, and I basically was like, yeah, that relationship goes no further than buying materials and selling butt coin. Uh, he in that conversation probably pushed like three times for me to just give him the phone uh but what i kind of decided we should do is at the moment um mary's crew after we left uh cosney with them to kind of let us know he's in very bad shape and potentially like might pass away you he know he's tweeting today he's not dead 
either way, we got told by Mary's crew he could be potentially dead yesterday. So our logic is we got the SIM card, we dashed it, and we didn't we didn't want to have a SIM card of a potentially dead man. Yeah. Like we'd read through it, we got the information we want, and we didn't want the SIM card because he's so potentially dead. The reasoning for not handing over the SIM card is because of the way they was pounding for no, it. No, it was to protect Luke because he texted he texted Cosney and set up basically set up. So Luke set up Cosney. If they get their hands on the SIM card, they find that out. Yeah. Luke set up Cora. Luke was helping Cosney. Oh yeah, no, sorry, that's what I meant. Too yeah. many C's. So it was mainly to protect Luke. That that's like too. Ha guys had as Luke well. at this it's point, Mary's like, crew. had you all decided at this point that you weren't gonna do anything and that you weren't yeah, aggressive? We had all agreed, and I had specifically told Luke we weren't aggressing. We were just gonna live our life and just be aware. And I had also told him to fuck off, Cosney. And he basically ignored both things. In the Wait, context. so why is he helping this Cosney in the first place if he's a fucking I rat? Fucking no. I think he knows he messed up. He does. Because, like, there was a part where when Luke was on the good side of Cosney and we found out he had a strap, we were going to try and get Luke to build up a relationship there. But then we realized about the text and then thought... See, that's all very we well and just... good, building up a relationship to try and get a strap. But if he'd been given the instruction... Don't do that. And then he's done completely the opposite. Yeah. And the worst thing about it is he didn't tell any, tell any of us before he'd done that. Yeah. We didn't find out until probably... I mean, bro, he knew he had a gun at that point and, and told her where Cora was. He could have fucking used us to link to set him up and get a gun off him. Yeah. He knew he had a strap. That's why he texted him where Cora was. But he, he could have done that, but we could have been the ones waiting with our fucking strap and blew his fucking head off. We've got like two straps right now, but now we're down fucking three bullets in our strap. Mm. And we're gonna, we're gonna need that gun because it's a week today. Yeah, oh, we're gonna need it, all right. Because then they get on to the next fucking dilemma, it's saying all that happened. Before you get on to the next thing, can one of you call Luke and get him to pull up? Matt, can you do it while I tell him about the the next dilemma, or do you want to wait? Do you Luke first? Deal with it one at a time, innit? Okay. Yeah, I got Next Luca. Next is the shit I told you about on the phone. Give me two minutes, I'll call you back. Sorry, bro. Uh, thinking about it. If he's that, if we're dashing Cosney's phone, he probably dashed his phone as well. So oh, is he that, did. He has Cosney's phone actually been dashed, or is that just what we're saying? Because nah, you may as well just yard. actually dash it. Hello. Um, what's it called? Spark, Sparky's asking you to pull up. Can I ping you? Uh, I'll ping you. What's your thing? Yeah. Yeah, it is important. Okay, so let's, uh, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Uh, May Spankarina. <laughs> Did you say May Spankarina after he was outside the house saying he's going to get a spank? <laughs> yeah. See you, see you soon, okay? Obviously, I know you told it has it happened, but uh, I still, I'm, I'm still trying to hear what he has to say before I I'm fucking just say anything. Of course. Uh, just as for the next part it, mm, probably not a bad shout to get saint over because i wasn't awake for it i'm going off what she told me and she was actually there for it how many parts this is there well this the, ne the next part's like another thing completely okay. uh, i wasn't awake for it is that and the last thing have, it's the last like uh bad thing and i want to have a one-on-one -on -one with you afterwards my throat's feeling a bit better you know what i mean glad your throat's in form
No, I'm getting Luke here to hear his side and then obviously we'll talk about it. The, the thing is, after the Terry thing, like, I'm only going to reaffirm it one time. Like, if people just don't listen, then they're gone. Uh, if, yeah. if you if you can't listen to basic instructions whether that's from me or anyone in the group regardless of like authority if the group has made a decision and then you instantly go against that decision there's no place for you in a group obviously terry's had his exception i'll see what luke's saying but listening skills cause a lot of issues People have a lot of opinions as well. I feel like we were pretty on the same page yesterday. We were. Like, I kind of had a different, like, approach to, to you at the beginning. But then when we had a conversation, we were on the same page very quick. I think everyone's very hot-headed at the moment and eager. You know? No, I'm not eager. Uh, ego. No one's earned the platform to have an ego everyone thinks yep. they're the shit so why the fuck is everyone acting like the shit when you ain't done shit yeah i agree people people are mixing up uh not wanting to be stepped on with just ego oh 100 percent if you look at all these issues we're the aggressors for the most part You know what you're saying? Get in the fucking car. <laughs> All right, Captain Price. Fucking hell. All right, well, I'll go on for this Cosney situation. Obviously, I heard from these man like the, the story, but obviously, I want to hear what you're saying about it, the whole thing. Uh, basically, but yeah. Wait one second. Right, so basically, yeah. I woke up yesterday, like, 7 in the morning with, like, an home I do. No one's about. I bumped into this Cosney geezer. Roof running with a guy for something to do. Job went left. Seen some other people roof running. Robbed them. But obviously, it, it's, there's a more detailed version, but I can't be arsed with it. I've told it so many times. So we robbed these people, battered them after like, having a bit of a buzz with them. Tell them I work there. They weren't having it. They just started getting leery. They got battered. This Cora ran off with all these parts. The two people that were there, we battered them. She's ran back round corner, done me in, so Cosney's done her in. And then Cosney's got me in her in car saying, where's these parts? Where's these parts? She's like, I'm not telling you where they are. They're safe and sound. By the way, is that you, Luke? Because ADMC are going to know about this. You're going to have 25 people looking for you. So I was like, right. Look, if I didn't even, if I was slumped in my car. I weren't really saying much. And the cousin's like, right, tell me where parts are. Are you going for a swim? And then he did some proper dodgy little shit ocean dump in some lake or something. Apparently, he left her at dock and they all found her. And then, basically, yeah. Steve spoke to... Was Solomon you spoke to, Steve? Yeah. Steve spoke to Solomon. No, no, actually... Jay said he's seen him at hospital. I was talking to Jay, telling him what had happened. And Jay's like, I can see him all at hospital now. Blah, blah, blah. And then Jay's like, bro, they're coming up to me. Come to hospital in case so happens. Turn up to hospital. One of them's got a wrench up to Jay. They've also, there's like five of them surrounding Jay with wrenches and knives out and that. But is I this said, after you, you squashed it, by the way, with Solomon, or is this beforehand? This is, no, this I is before. Even, I wasn't even awake at this point. All oh, right, this, okay, okay. I've not spoke to Solomon at this point. I've got my wires crossed there. So, anyway, yeah. Fucking... I've walked up and I'm like, listen, if you want to talk about what's happened, we can talk about it. If you want to get violent, we can get fucking violent. But either way, that wrench needs to move away from my boy now. And then the guy just went, oh, so here's your boy, so you've lied. And just whacked Jay. So then me, Cosney, and this fat dog, we caught Sylvester, were there. Just smacked them all in. And then after that, that's when Steve spoke to Solomon. I don't know what got said like there. Obviously, he's probably already told you. But then Steve told me, leave it. Don't, don't touch Cora. If she's saying she's... I, I kept get, bro, I'm getting phone calls of people she's doing signing with saying she won't shut up about how she's going to get a get back on you. So then Steve's like, nah, just leave it. As, when the people wake up to do this get back, they're all just going to tell her to fucking chill out. Drop a car and save it a prime. Cosney brings me. He's like, I ain't having it. I ain't having it. This, these, this Solomon is trying to tell people I'm a grass. I'm not having it. I'm rolling around with a gun. Now I'm going to shoot this bird. If you see her, let me know. And I've seen her at Mo This is where I fucked up, yeah? I've seen her at Mosley's. So I texted him and said, yes, she's at Mosley's. And he's turned up and shot her and shot some other cunt as well, bro. See, that's where the issue is, though. Why did you why did you holler him after multiple people had said, look, we got a plan, allow it? 
Because I didn't know they were a plan. I was just getting told to leave it. I didn't know they were actually a plan or something. I was just getting told to leave it, leave it, leave it. And to be honest, bro, when people are ringing me saying, yeah, she can't shut the fuck up about how she's going to get a get back. I'm like, well, fucking get a shot then. Yeah, that but see, this is the, like, the, the I, issue I, is I, with that though, right? Like, this is, this is, I keep hearing this. It's like, there's a fine line between the whole working the we can't get stepped on angle and then also being literally unanimously disliked by the entire city and putting you in a situation where if anyone fucks up and you get cast to the streets ain't no one gonna want you because you're known as that guy from the manor who is acting like a cunt but i wasn't even acting like a cunt bro i did i left it for time only 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 really thing i'll admit that i did wrong you send that text to him i, I like, yeah but that's the only thing I, i'm pulling you up if, on if, like that, that even if, if i had a rang him or something it, that clear of like if it was relayed multiple times don't do shit there's obviously method to madness it's not just don't do shit because oh uh, we can't we're like we're pussies we don't want to deal with this like everyone's so scared of being a pussy but there's 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 being a calculated bad man and then there's being a pussy you you and don't did, need I to did. just do something straight away to warrant not being seen as a bitch or not being stepped on it ain't like that yeah, but I didn't want to sit and wait about sparking until I got done in. But, but then if you can't sit and wait about, back. why are you in a group with multiple people who also make decisions? On that part, but if that's how you want to move as an individual, then you're in the wrong place. You get me? Like, no, it's not that, bro. I'm not saying I can't wait about. I've got patience, yeah? But I'm not just going to get about on my one. Zach, thank you for the tier one. Duck for people that are apparently looking for me for some get back, just to get myself stabbed up, whatever. Rammed off road, stabbed up, get all my shit rubbed out my pockets. For people then to say, all right, well, they've done this, so let's do this. I, bet I fucked up in it sending the text. It left like a digital trail of me being involved in it when I shouldn't have been. But I was, and it led to bare shit having to get dealt with and that. But I, I don't know what you want to say, bro. Even aside from the text, though, even if it w wasn't a digital trail, because it's not, the thing that you did wrong is not getting caught. It's doing it in the first place. Because it's just going against what the group decided. As you can't, like, we've had multiple times where people in the group are moving as individuals. Like, this is a group, so we have to move as a group. Because if you move as individuals, it causes a bunch of problems and makes us look completely uncoordinated. That will happen with Terry and uh, fucking... Whatever his name is, Future. Because the energy we're on is, if someone fucks up, we have to back it as a group. So one individual stepping out and thinking, nah, I don't actually agree with what they've done, I'm going to do this, then means the whole group has to shift what they're doing so they don't cast you aside. Yeah, I get that. I do get. I'd like a ripple effect in that, but like, I, I, I will say, yeah, I do appreciate everyone backing it and like trying to clear up the trail. Like, we ended up obviously probably told you what happened. Took the geezer's SIM card. I fucked my SIM card off and got a new phone. Like, the trail's gone. The trail of me being connected to that is gone, and I get it shouldn't even been there in the first place. And it is like a fuck up. Fuck, fuck, fuck the up. trail. I, I don't even care about the ADMC or nothing like that. I care about you not listening to what everyone was saying. I don't care about the retaliation from any other crew or whatever. Said different things, bro. Well, it sounds to me like you've had the message of don't do shit relayed multiple times. I've got other people saying, no, fuck you that. If you want to get back, let's get one of them. I know, you told me to wait. To wait, and as soon as they make a move, they'll get folded like fucking deck chairs. That's what I said. There was, there was no, there, there was no, there's no plan. The plan was for them to be the dickheads, make the aggre be the aggressors, and then as soon as they'd make any move, my plan was to go get that fucking gun, pull up to their block, and air that shit out. Immediately. Mm -hmm. I told you that. That's the best way to show presence and power in the city is you let somebody else step to you and then you do it. This is the thing, right? When we're going around doing lots of robberies, we are flaring up the aggro, being the aggressor, and then not going at them afterwards to not get stepped on. So in but that case, all that looks at you, bro, like is that we're sparking it up. Anyone. And then we're going and fucking stabbing them afterwards. Yeah, but I could say the same shit though, about like that. You want to go and rob someone, and the next minute someone comes to me and goes, Yo, are you part of the manor and shoots me. I ain't robbed no group six in my life, bruv. But I'm probably still going to get backlash from you, what, robbing group six. If I were there yeah, last 100%. night, I'd have got shot that, that, that's one exactly a prime example of why moving as a group and individuals making decisions fucks everyone's over. Because exactly what you just listed about you potentially getting shot by robbing a G6 is what you've done by then working with that Cosney guy and not listening to people. You're fucking everyone else over. So you know exactly how it feels. It can't, it can't be happening in the group because if it happens this early on, it's just going to fucking buckle it. It's one of those. Terry had his fuck up. We had to let it slide. We did what we did. This is your fuck up. We let it slide. It is what it is, but it can't keep happening. It's that simple, bro. It won't work in the long run.
I don't know what I'm saying, but I, I even said it yesterday to these. I just want you to know what you did wrong, and, that, and it seems no, that no, you no, do. I know what I did wrong. Don't, so what, can I just say something? Bro? Even yesterday, when you weren't around, Steve, anyone that were there, I was saying, listen, this is my fuck up with some random guy. I don't want this to become a thing for everyone to deal with. I'll go and chat to these, and everyone were telling me, no, 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 don't, just leave it. Wait, wait, wait. And I, with our game, to so just fucking ring that core up and say, listen, this is what happened. This is this knobhead who's done it because I didn't even really do anything. There you fucking go. If you want to get back, then it is what it is. But I ain't fucking really done shit to you. The reality of the city is, though, you don't get to choose that. I, that's that's, the, that's like what I we've suffered the situation, with. And no one has let me finish it, bro. You can't like, understand, even the gang though. Thing. I fucked up, yeah, but no one has let you, me correct You can't. Up. Nah, but this is the thing. It doesn't. As soon as you join a gang, that, that goes out the window. There's no such thing as a you issue as soon as you join a gang. After fucking that two years of getting roped into everybody else's beef, you learn the hard way that there is literally no such thing as an individual issue when you're in a group. Because the person you've done it to is the person that can dictate that. If they want to keep it as an individual issue, which is like a one in a hundred chance, then they will. But nine times out of ten, it's a group thing. That's just and how the, the streets time, work. The timeline with that as well, Luke, you've got to understand when you are willing to go to them and be like... Yeah, I didn't put my hands up and take responsibility. We've already rolled out, stole the SIM card and copy your tracks. No, I said, no, I said this way before when I first turned up Cosney, bro, when a Cosney was stood on Grove Street. I said, listen, I don't want this to become a a man of ADMC thing. But then obviously mm -hmm. Jay's like, well, I got smacked, so it already is now, innit? So, I mean... Jay, you, you, for a start, Jay, don't listen to what Jay says in the heat at the moment. He was also saying he was going to ocean them the whole gang. And then afterwards, he was like, I'm not going to ocean them. He took 2k and he was happy. You just, you don't listen to, it's, in the moment, Jay's very heated sometimes. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people like that now. But bro, it literally doesn't exist. Like, individual issues, as ideal as that sounds, having one-to-one -one beef when you're in a group and the other person's in a group, it's likely never going to run like that. But I didn't even want it to be beef, but I were on the phone to the guy saying, listen, I I'm not even trying to get violent. If you want to chat to me, yeah, chat to me. But if you're going to ring my phone threatening me and that, I'm a violent guy, I'm not scared of you. And then... After, after, and then they went and found her because he rang me up saying, Where is she? And then they found her anyway. And then I called him, I was like, What's happening? He's like, Oh, we've got her, blah, 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 blah. And Jay's like, Yeah, they're at hospital. When I pulled up to hospital, I said, If you want to talk, we can fucking talk. I'm not even, I said, I'd rather talk it out 10 times out of 10. I can solve shit with words. If we're going to get violent, let me fucking know. Oh, just when something like that shit. happens, you just need to get with the group, have a conversation, make the decision of what you're doing, unify on it, and then that's that's that and deal with it. Like, you don't need to get in a scurry and think, Oh, I need to sort this out now because you. Like, even if you thought you fucked up and you were like, shit, I need to fix this, still go through the group and sort it out that way because then you know exactly what's going to be the best way to handle it. I, I get that in terms of for the group, yeah, but when I come to group, people start making my decisions for me, bro. It's something that I started and then I didn't even get to finish it. I just Everyone else just made all my decisions for me, bro. But that, I get that, but that is like, it, bro. Like, yeah, bro. as peak as that may make you feel, unfortunately, bro, your issues is now everybody's issues and there will be situations you get yourself in that aren't just you. And if that's not for you speak up be our guest but like that is what this life will be and i can't sit here and tell you that's going to change because it won't that's just how it is if if i'd have had my chance to reach out to him myself or even with this fucking random cosmic user or whatever i don't think it would have become everyone's issue okay but it feels to me issue, like everyone the just made it their was, issue the issue was resolved until have to be. you texted cosney and got her shot it weren't resolved it were on it hold was resolved. It we're on hold so more than what me and Solomon agreed to come and chin me on no that, beef between ADMC and the manor and Solomon's high command the core is just a, a number in that group no he wasn't in a group before it's like us bro we, we stand in meetings talking about shit like Jay threatening to ocean dump them for getting sparked at the hospital but then when it actually came to it he wasn't going to do shit people say shit in the moment core is not and high up in ADMC right no, she's, no, she's like no. just a I had member a call with Solomon she's an element who's, I had a phone call with Solomon that we we both agreed between me and him that it's squashed and there's going to be no repercussions from it uh he's like fucking he's in like he's in command of that group he's our command isn't it yeah it's one of them it's going to be a very steep learning curve and you'll either adjust to it or you won't but like that is literally how it's going to run every day someone can make a mistake that's going to come back to bite you in the ass you might lose a connection because of somebody else in the group that's what you sign up for when you wear the where you wear the flag when you fucking buy into the house when you're around that is what it's going to be like if you don't like that i don't know what to tell you because that is no, I, our no, life was, this is what yesterday but i was saying i know that's I know Spark is close with this Solomon. I know Steve's obviously on phone to him. You must know him. I know that a few of you are close with this Solomon guy. And I'm not trying to make it an ADMC versus the manor thing. 
let me fucking just go and sort it out. And no one had fucking let me, bro. I'm just stu suddenly getting fucking bossed around right now. You're going to do this. You're going to have to do this. And then you're going to do that. And I'm like, what? I and I get it's a group thing. And it, but it, it didn't... What, I get what you're saying about it being a group thing, yeah. But in my opinion, it didn't even have to come to this. It didn't have to come to Cosney getting shot in his face. It didn't have to come to fucking people ringing around arguing over a SIM card. It could have just been me. Go, me go to the Cora, which is where it all stemmed from, her getting battered, and just sorting it out, giving her some shit back, giving it because he took her phone and that, bruv. It could have been sorted out in a much more peaceful way, bruv. But you also you wouldn't know? have been able to dictate that. That's the thing. That's at that point, the ball was in ADMC's court, it was in Cora's court, it was absolutely out of your hands because the, the, the action had already been done. That's it. I don't think you're fully getting it, but I get like this is somewhat new to you. Like, that, you're gonna have to get used to that. There's not going to be many situations that arise where you could just go deal with it yourself and it's it, it, it's sweet and sound. How would you have felt, yeah, Luke, if you went to ADMC, told him it was you, and then they come back to us and say, you either have to get rid of Luke or it's going to become a manners issue and we're going to come after all of you. How would you have felt about that? Because yeah, that's a very realistic that, thing they could have done. It's, it happens, bro. What's another gang's going to tell you that you've got to kick a member or they're yep. going to come and do you in? We've done it to the Saints back in day. It happens. Well, did they kick the member we, or did bro, they have a war out with you, bro? When you're wearing you know their mean? flag, bro, we're never going to put you in a position where you approach a gang on your own because you are vulnerable as fuck. I'm not saying I'd have walked into the living room, but I sat down. I would just wanted to ring that Cora. That's all I wanted to do. I it doesn't. To have a cup ultimately, of tea ultimately, we could sit here and talk about that for ages. That's not the reality of the situation that happened. Like, to wrap it up, because I don't want to sit in this car for fucking hours. Like, you know where you fucked up. You just need to get used to moving as a unit. If that's something you can't adjust to, we can have another another conversation. And if it's not something you adjust to, then be what it be. It's, but it's, it's going to be learning. It's hard to morning when no one's awake, bruv. No, I hear that, but it's not about what morning, you're doing bro. physically. It's about what you're doing mentally. And if you're mentally a solo entity and you're not thinking for the group, then there's no place for that solo entity in the group. It's that simple. Like, if, you, if you're going to adapt to it, brilliant. You made a mistake, we move past it, we keep moving as a group. If you're not going to adapt to it, then maybe the solo life suits you more. It's that simple. Like, it's not even on a deep thing, bro. It's just how this life works. So when are people going to adapt to not shanking each other then in this group? And when are people, do you know what I mean? It's not just me, bro. I'm getting this big lecture and you brought up about nine times. Maybe it's not for me, maybe it's not for yeah, me. Yeah, but this it's is not another just thing. Me uh, it isn't just you fucking up, but that's another thing. If you can't take these conversations, once again, then maybe it isn't the right choice. Like, this is a very real thing that happens. Everyone in this car has been in a parallel situation to you right now because they were in a gang. That's just how it works. That's how it runs. I pulled Terry up on what he did with fucking Future. You're not the only one. To view it as an I and not an us is where you're going wrong. But that's it anyway. That's all we needed to talk about on your thing. You fucked up. You know where you fucked up. You just have to get used to the, the group mentality. It's no more than needs to be said, you know? Oh, yeah, man. It's what it is. I'm yeah. With group mentality in a bit, boys. Right. What's next? Um. Okay. So, Terry robbed somebody in Group Six yesterday. Uh, some old man, and apparently he was linked to Marty because Marty pulled up to the house with a fucking gun. Wait. Say uh, again. He robbed who? Some old guy is what it was described to me as. Don't know who he is, but friends with Marty, I guess, because Marty felt the need to pull up to the house with a gun over it. An uh, old all guy. The pallets they robbed off him were in the backyard, so they'd already like seen the pallets. They were out in the back, out the back in the open. Um, it, Saint said it was Shan Quan and her when he pulled up. They obviously weren't involved, whatever. And then Terry pulled up, and Terry like admitted it. it Terry said he, he did it, yeah. Yeah. So was Marty and, uh, on the job, or it was just this old guy, no, and then he? Marty was not on the job, from what I understand. Okay. Um. And whatever happened, somehow, James and or, or sorry, not James, uh, Terry ended up in the backyard with the old guy, with the pallets, while Marty was out the front with everyone else, being Saint San Juan and James with the gun, and Terry stabbed the old guy and got everyone shot and gunned down at the front. But why is he why is he stabbed an old guy when there's a guy with a gun? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't spoke to him, but it seems stupid as fuck. 
So he's once again stabbed someone off his own accord. Pretty much. Seems like it. Again, I haven't chatted to him. He hasn't been awake, but it seems that way. When, what, you didn't speak to him at all? No, I, I wasn't awake yesterday. Has anyone so called Marty or spoke to Marty? No. Um, Pretty sure this was very late because I went bed at like very, two yeah. and this was after that. Saint was about for it if she's still around. Yeah, cool Saint. He's on the phone. The issue at st uh, Stance right now is, is, is ego. It's a massive problem. Like, and if it doesn't get sorted, we're gonna, it, as sad as it is, right? Like it, it's, a sh it's a shame because the fresh faces is very good, but it's also very unfortunate that currently the fresh faces are actually causing quite a lot of issues. Terry, Terry is very, very useful and can be a good asset. He just needs to wind his neck in. And the problem we have now is if Terry is already unanimously disliked by a lot of people, him walking around with our drip on leaves a sour taste in people's mouths. G6 robbery is yeah. like, I'm going to just be that guy. People are going to hate me for it, but we're not doing them no more because I'm sick and tired of hearing about bullshit because of G6. You either I'm do G6 guys. to make a bit of money or you go do roof running, you go do whatever the fuck. Like, I don't want to hear no G6 robberies happening because it's fucking pointless. Ain't even making Everyone money at this point. I with you on that right now. I've been cleaning the G6 bags all morning, bro. Well, not all morning, but it's just fucking shit. Financially, it ain't even beneficial, bro. Bro, I, bro, you know one roof run makes three grand. One chop makes three grand. Yeah, you yeah I know. Tonight. No, it, it, it's pointless, bro. It brings way too much fucking drama, even on the other side. Like, even if you're doing G6 and you get robbed. Issues fucking come out of it. No more, no more robberies. I know I've done a few, and yeah, they are enjoyable and they're, and they're fun and whatever. But fuck it, it's like if it's gonna keep causing this level of problem, we just sack them off. Yeah. Well, when people are pulling up to our doorstep with fucking guns, bro, over shit. That's I mean, when it ends. Yeah. About it. Like when our own people are getting gunned down to a point where we can do nothing about it. Bro, Marty could rock up again tonight and do the same thing. What the fuck are we going to do about it? But it's Nothing. always it's what we said and what we should have been doing, which is the exact point we spoke about of getting our heads down, avoiding issues. And when issues present themselves, we will be ready because we've been putting in a graph quietly. There, we, are, yeah. we are currently right now overcompensating massively. Mm -hmm. And the mentality of the group, and not the entire group, but unfortunately, if a couple people in the group have it, it shines off on the whole group, is... Going around swinging our dicks at everyone, robbing anyone. We don't give a fuck who you are. Oh, you looked at me funny when I was walking to the hospital. Boom, stabbed you. Right, cool. Now what? You've made no progress. You still ain't got guns. And now you've got six new enemies. How, how is that beneficial in any way, shape or form? Yeah. Saying and call me back. She's on the phone and she didn't see my text. So. See you later. I'll try out. She called me. Hello. Yo. Oh. Uh, what's your ping? Uh. Okay. Pull up. I'm um, just. Uh, telling SK about the shit that happened yesterday, but you were actually there. So the the one it. thing I will say that is like that is on our side is everything is still very early and fresh to the point where yeah. I think people are likely to forget about shit very quickly at the moment. But we if we keep doing this, then it's just you're just fucking yeah solidifying what people think. If we just completely nip this in the bud, shut off moving how we're moving. People will move on. They'll forget about all the shit that happened. And then we can continue to build relationships. It's just this dead mentality. And it's such a bitch mentality, bro. Of like, oh, this person wronged me. I must do something to them right now. It's fucking mm -hmm. frail and insecure as fuck, bro. If you really need to get one off that quickly and you can't just swallow your pride for fucking 20 minutes, have a conversation... 
and think out how you're going to move to benefit the group, then fuck off. I'm so over it, bro. That fragile ego just needs to go, man. Yeah, people do need to learn to swallow their pride a bit. Long, long game, bro. You don't need to forget. You just need to move on for the time being until you're in a better position bro, to deal with. Bro, the Saints is literally a fucking prime example. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like, as much as we joke about it, and they were moving a bit crazy, they literally said nothing. And then six months later, after they was working hard, they just fucking came out of nowhere and fucked mm -hmm. us. Hello, Saint. You're not feeling very well. So, Saint, I told what's, them... What's going on? You've banned it about 400 times. Just launched herself off the balcony from above us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We did a 007, you know what I mean? That's why I started mean? laughing, nice. so I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, give your POV of what happened yesterday with Marty. So, okay. So, I woke up. Marty's already outside of our, outside of our house uh, with a gun. Um, Has anyone got food, by the way? Oh, I've got a shit ton of food. Don't worry. I Carry give on. You food. Thank you. Um, so, and then I come out, and he's like, "Yo," he's like, "Uh, you know, you, you or he's like, you guys have a bunch of a fuck ton of pallets in the back of your house. Did you like? What, do you know what anything about that?" And I hear, I thought it was the pallets that we chucked out like a, a while ago that were still back there. Mm. And I was like, "Yeah," and I'm just like, "Yeah, I don't know about any of that." I was like, I, "Yeah, I don't even know." And um, he was like, well, in your boys round. And as he said that, James calls me and he's like, who's that on the phone? And I was like, it's James. He's like, tell him to get down here and hang the phone up. So I tell James to get down there. Him and Terry pull up. Uh, and then Marty starts questioning him. And then he, he has this old, other, his, this old guy, right? <clears throat> he's like, is that them? And the guy's like, yeah, that is them. And then Terry starts popping off about like... Um, Basically, kind of like saying, yeah, we were kind of like in a way, basically saying, yeah, that they did rob them mm -hmm. and everything like that, and saying it's just the way of the city, mate. I don't know what you want me to do. Um, and then he starts mouthing off again, and then Marty tells him to get out of the car. It's gonna and tells him to get out of the car. Um, James comes over to where me and Shane Kwan are, and then uh, they take Terry in the back uh, of the of the house to get the pallets or so or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I know that like basically we we get we get shot down. Um, but then coming out of the hospital, I hear James talking to Terry about like taking, like, you know, chilling, chilling out, you know, mm. not, not doing what he did, which I'm guessing he stabbed somebody, put two and two together. He did stab somebody and then we got shot. So Terry um, stabbed the guy that K the, the, the guy with the gun, Marty brought his boy mm -hmm. who got robbed doing G6. He went into the garden with him and Terry stabbed him in the garden. Yeah. But then we all got magnum because of it. And did after after he shot you lot, that was it. It was just like you got shot and then they bounced and then nothing happened afterwards. Yeah, that was that was it. That was it. And then uh the police were there. Um Bruh. we all go to the hospital. We come out of the hospital. Um and then apparently I couldn't figure I, I couldn't find James or Terry. Hey, save the nine months. Because I went back to the to the block, right? And there's still police around there. Um, Zakid comes up to me and says, Hey, I think that old guy snitched. And I was like, What do you mean? He's like, Well, he got into the car with the cop. He's like, I'm pretty sure you know, I'm pretty sure that guy probably snitched mm. um about the whole entire situation. Which makes sense. I normally I wouldn't believe Zakid, but it makes sense because he came back with his group six truck. And the cops were basically guarding him, like to get the pallets from the backyard. And then whenever I went to the to, went to the house, they were like, "Oh, do you live here?" And I was like, "Yeah." Was like, and they they kept questioning like, "Who owns the who who owns the house?" And I was like, "I'll be honest with you, I don't know." I was like, "I'm I'm roommates with a bunch of people, I don't know." Mm. And so then they he the guy got all the pallets from the back. They 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 basically made sure that he like left first before they left and everything. So um, the cops were there so, because of the pallets in the garden? Yeah. Yeah. Why were the pallets in the garden in the first place? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know they were chucking them in the back of the garden. Like, what's the difference between... What's the difference between running it inside and putting it in the garden? 
<laughs> or put it in, in someone else's garden. Yeah. 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 So, then, look, my so, quick question. Did, mm -hmm. when Marty pulled up, right? Oh no, he was already out front whenever well, I Well, when up. they pulled up, did they, uh, like, were they on, like, resolution? Did they present an option to resolve it? Or was it just straight violence from Rip? Uh, no, for Marty, all they wanted was the pallets back. From what, from what I, from what I heard. That's basically kind of what they wanted. It's, it's kind of, that's the kind of page that I heard that I kind of, like, figured out. They, they just wanted the pallets back. That's it. The pallets that were and, just sat in the garden. Yeah, yeah. But, but Terry's the one that's kind of started popping off, you know. So Terry hit him with the, the game's the game. You ain't getting yeah, the pallets yeah, back. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, basically, is what he hit him with. I can't, bro, I can't lie, yeah, call me a bitch, call me whatever. Just let him have the pallets, bro. It ain't even worth bro, it at that, that point. guy had a fucking gun. Like, why are you, how are you going to pop off to somebody who has a fucking gun and you have, like, nothing? You know, like, I just, I don't know. I just said to the boys before you got here, like, I'm putting an end that no one's robbing G6 anymore. Like, I can't be bothered to deal with all the issues coming from that stupid Civ job, bro. Like, mm -hmm. if people want to do G6 to make money, calm. If you get robbed on it, like, you know, let us know, whatever. Like, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. But fucking, I don't want no one robbing G6. It's literally all it's doing is providing us problems and making people not fuck with us because they're just getting robbed doing G6. Yeah. And I've done it as well, like, and I enjoyed it. But, like, fuck it. If, if, if it's getting to this point, we allow it, like. It, it, at that point as well, like, if he's on the doorstep and all they want is the palace, you just, bro, let them have it. Yeah. Um. Then after that situation, Shane Kwan was like human because he actually kind of like, I mean, rightfully so. I don't know why you would stab somebody knowing that your the rest of your friends are being held up by a fucking someone with a gun. You know, like I, I don't, I, I still don't see that logic, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um, but apparently after we, after they got out of the hospital, <clears throat> James didn't tell me who kidnapped them. Apparently, him and Terry got kidnapped from the from the hospital. This is um, after they got shot. Yeah, this is after. This is after. Um, whoever it was brought him back to the house, shot Terry, and then left. And apparently, James got arrested because he was just there. You know, obviously with the all she was shooting with the on the scene of shooting. <clears throat> and so they arrested James, but he got released though, and then his car got impounded, so he was like human because of that. So they got they got dropped outside the house, they went to hospital, got out of hospital, got dropped again, and then that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. So wait, when when Terry stabbed that old guy and you man mm -hmm. all got shot, did he get shot as well? No, because I um See, cause I was on the ground, and my phone, for some reason, kept rattling off on Twitter, and he was popping off on Twitter. Who was popping off on Twitter? Terry was. Terry Saying was what? On Twitter. I don't, I don't remember what he said. I just saw to him who? on Twitter, though. Saying that they were like pussies or something like that. Uh, I think it was probably Marty, I think. Or either one of Marty or one of Marty's boys. Bro, you've just been dropped twice. Why are you on Twitter? We need to just, I, I need to speak to Terry because this, to Terry, yeah. this guy's no, just fucking, true. this guy's just moving brazy. Because I have the, a because I, I think that after he stabbed him, I think, I don't think Terry, Terry didn't get got. I think he, he, he ran off. Warrant, so. Yeah. <clears throat> he didn't get caught, so that quick. they picked him up at the hospital and shot him mm -hmm. at the house to prove, to, to, to get everybody then. Yeah, that's kind of what it seems that's, like. The, that's why they left James, because James had already been shot. Oh right, okay. I hear yeah, it. Yeah. Well, bro, like again, G six. I said to the boys, like, we're lucky that it's an early stage where I think people are gonna forget about things pretty quickly because so much is going mm -hmm. on and there's so much like progression happening and stuff. I just after the future thing. That was straw number one. Straw number two is now obviously this for Terry. Like, I'm just gonna say to him straight, like, look. I get you're moving unhinged, but he is solo creating so many issues that if he doesn't just switch up completely, as much as I love having him around and I think he's a fucking crease and it's good to have new faces, he can't be here, bro, if he's just causing that many issues. So it's, it's that third and final straw, like switch this or it's just wraps. Mm -hmm. There's like, yeah. We don't need to burn bridges right now. That's the thing that's jarring. There's no reason to burn bridges. Okay. 
I was saying this to the boys yesterday. There's up. backing yourself, and then there's burning bridges. But the, the issue is as well, you've got you've got James and Terry together, which is like one brain cell combined with a half a brain cell. And then you, you just got them enabling each other and not one of them will stop and think. They'll just go and go and go. Chain robbing group six in itself is fucking stupid, yeah? And I when I was doing it yesterday or the day before, whenever it was, we did a couple robberies and I said to everyone, yo, look, let's allow this. Let's stop now. Do you really want to be them dons that's going around chain robbing group six? No, you fucking don't. I'll speak to Terry and um, probably have to be a little harsh. But it's one of those, bro. Like, you can't move like that. It's just excitement and ego. Everyone's so gassed to be around doing something new that it's just almost like everyone's got this 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 theory in their head that we are some next level bad man crew that just can't be touched bro we ain't done shit yet we ain't even got a gun blueprint motherfuckers is 3x in our buck in production gotta earn it we need to be back on that heavy as well bro i'll be honest i feel like everyone's kind of slowed down with that bro that's what that's what the conversation will be if we can get the most of people around today like Cutting out all the bullshit and just focusing up. Like, I don't yeah, we need to wanna be hearing none of these fucking stories of people having issues with this person, that person. Like everyone should be focusing on themselves. There's no reason to be wasting our time on petty shit. Especially in the time when we already know we're behind most groups. Yeah. Like significantly. Uh, bro, dude, when, what's his name? What, the guy in the white outfit that was like joking about joining us? He was like, he's robbed the laundry mat multiple times, bro. And like, we know. don't even know how that runs yet. Yeah, you know, we don't, we don't even know how the laundry mat, no one's told us. Like that, that is itself tells, like tells me that people don't rate us. If we haven't been told out how that works when someone like has robbed it multiple times. Well, we had an agreement with the company that Terry would be informed by Benji. But the issue is Terry's been out robbing Group 6, this, that, and the other. That, In, in the most harsh way possible, like, I'm going to just keep it completely real. What James and Terry have been doing the last few days has contributed absolutely fuck all to the group. Like, that is the, like, robbing G6 contributes absolutely nothing to this group. You could argue it mm -hmm. contributes money, but it doesn't even really do that. No one and I guarantee they're, they're the people that are paid the less out of the thirty grand. The, that's why G six is just getting sacked off. Like, what, what are you, what are you contributing doing that? James has been contributing heavy with the circuit boards. I know Terry's been putting in his money here and there, but he ain't making orders. He ain't doing, you know, he's he's supplying the money, which is the the, the lowest step you could do in that. If you're bringing issues and zero progress, then what are you doing here? That's why I had that, that conversation with Terry is how it's going to be. Everyone just needs to know that like, it ain't going to always be working in silence and moving quietly and fucking you know, boring. Mm -hmm. But you gotta fucking build up before you go into the fucking the hot area. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it... yeah. I think I think that's what it is. I think people want like I I like the energy that we don't take shit off of people. But at the same time, I think it's a little bit too much. We're I think we're we're doing too much. We're, we're creating people. We're creating we shit to then show that we're not taking shit. Yeah. Which is just fucking super counterproductive. I, I kind of like yesterday, the shit with ADMC was a decent example, right? Shit popped off. We we tried to resolve it. Mm -hmm. And then when they, they overstepped a bit with the phone, we just told them to fucking figure it out. They're not yeah. getting the phone. Yeah. You know, there was no like... There was no big dicking straight away because a resolution could have been... Well, it did... A resolution was brought forward. It was fine until we found out about Luke's fucking text. 
and then they overstepped the man in the phone so they got told to fuck off i think honestly the, the, the players if we can get a group conversation today keep it short and sweet like no more g6 robberies i spoke to luke like he's got his chance to fucking switch up his mindset terry's on last draw with everything like needs to rein it mm. in and then bro like everyone should be focusing on helping a buck coin getting the individual money up you know doing these ac robberies doing chops doing whatever getting their rep up and then also outside of that Go and fucking speak to people. Build our relationships. Bro, it's like, it's, like, it's like marketing at this point, right? If the only thing people know of us is what's happened in the last few days, it's not a good look. So we need to now spend the next few days, next weeks, go do shit with other people. If you're going to go do a chop, call someone from a different group. Lovemore calls me quite a lot to do shit together. Like, call Lovemore. Go do roof running with Lovemore. Go do some shit with fucking hmm. Peanut. Go do some shit with these other man, you know? Like... Get out there. That being said, I want to say we need to make sure our stories are straight with the SIM card. We throw it in the ocean, up in Polito somewhere. Yeah, just say you we heard did, that your yeah. guy was dead we, and we you dashed might it. Be dead. Yeah. Or it wasn't too well, doing too well when we dashed the SIM card. Yeah. yeah. No, just say, just say we heard he might be dead. Short yeah, and so we got rid of yeah. the SIM card up in Polito somewhere. Don't even give a location. I just think he just dashed it. Uh, no, I'm only saying up in Polito because if they ask, like, we yeah, don't if they ask, you say Polito, but just say, like, look. But just don't tell them right out. Guy, we thought Guy was dead. We dashed it. Yeah. Well, by the way, it, it's in the house if you want to have a look through it. There's nothing really in the phone. It is I don't care for it. I don't care for it. Just get rid of it, innit? It just sounds like a problem right. that we don't need. I'll take it Pileo now then. Alright, let's just carry on with the day. And then when other people wake up, I'm not around ages, ages and ages today, but I'll be around enough time to talk to everyone. Hey, I'm around for approximately 30 more minutes.